glute hip extension. So when it comes down to your glute, your glute really has three primary focuses. So I'm gonna stand up and, and demonstrate that. Your glute is your main stabilizer of your hip, your pelvis, and your knee. So that's function one. Function two, it acts as an external rotator. And function three, it acts as a hip extender. So think of that in the context of kind of movement. Every time you stand up from that squat, your glute extends your hip. Every time you are standing on one leg, your glute focuses on stabilizing you. As you lower into that squat, your glute focuses on keeping your knees out. So your glutes are involved in basically every single movement. They're just as important to your movement as your core. So this one, we're gonna work primarily on that hip extension pattern. See, quadruped position, back flat, core engaged. So starting to bring the knee in, and then extend your leg out, getting that good glute extension, and then back in. So we're just straightening out the glute. We're not extending with the back, so we're keeping that core locked in. We're not confusing glute extension with extending at our lower backs. Notice my toe, I like to keep it flexed towards my hand. I think that just helps out, give you a little bit more of a feeling in your hamstring. So now a couple things you could do. One, we want your core locked in. We want to connect it with the core. So if you have a water bottle, feel free to pop that off to your side. All right. Nine times out of 10 when I go to a gym and I see people or even the scroll feed on Instagram, I see people doing glute exercises. I kind of see this. All right, we're kind of moving all over the place, you know. We're not, we're, we're not really doing much. We're just looking good for the gram. I don't want you to look good for the gram, I want you to perform for the gram. All right, so if, take that control. I'm sorry, before I get to that, if you have that water bottle, put that to your side. And this is gonna really force you to stay stable without shifting your body weight over. So keep your body weight even between your hands and your stance knee. Finally, if you have a band that's light enough, you can put that around your toes. And now, as you go into that hip extension, you're gonna push against the band. Notice my toes down. Just adding a little extra to that movement.